Hi everybody, Jackie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to remind you to please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload future videos. Today I have a project for, share for you. This is, as I'm looking down at it going, hmm, what do I call this? It's an altered book journal. What you do with these, you can use them like a memory book, keep a, like a stubs, ticket stubs from a concert you went to, or, you know, a program to a play that you saw. You can keep pictures on it, and there's tags in it, and you can journal on the back of the tags, you know, write down, you know, a few thoughts about what that was about, or you can just keep anything in it, really, that you want to, and uh, this is not my own idea. Again, I got this off YouTube. However, I do mine different than the, they do theirs, so it's an imitation, but it's not an exact imitation. It does have my own unique touches to it. So, uh, What you do, you start off with just a regular hardbound book, and I get mine at the Dollar Tree. You know, you're going to tear it up anyways. I mean, if you can find some at a yard sale or something, great, for cheaper than that. But I usually don't hit a lot of yard sales or junk stores or anything. So for me, it's just easier to go to the Dollar Tree and buy one. And you tear pages out. Like you'll um, leave two pages and then tear out five. And then leave two more and tear out six. And however you want to do it. But you tear out several pages and you leave two then back to back. And those are what you glue together to make pockets. And normally you can make pockets at the top or on the side. I do that, but I also make uh, little tuck spots on the front and back of each page. And I'm, here we go with this. Okay. Again, just a Dollar Tree book. And I took paper pages out of it. And I covered it with decorative paper. Uh, you cover the inside sheets, too. And I just, before I glued the paper down I glued the ribbon down for the tie so that it would stay attached and you just untie it and there you go and let's open this up so I can show it to you I always leave the very inside cover and the back side cover open or leave it plain then people can write if they want to on that and every place you see a twine this way there is a tuck spot or a pocket and it's just a tag and it's plain on the back so people can write on it and I, like I said I cover all the sheets and I try to use coordinating washi of some sort for each page so there's that page and then there's the back side of it it's the same kind and it also has a tuck spot on the side on this one. And I try to kind of rotate between the side and the top. So now that I've explained it, I'm just going to show you the different pages. We have, this is a pink one. And this was all from the same paper pad, and I can't recall the name of it. But the front and back of each sheet is going to be exactly the same. Again, like I said, every place you see uh, a twine is a tuck spot. And see, then you can write on these pages. You can attach sticky papers to them, like, you know, sticky notes to write little things down. And again, I tried to coordinate to some extent the washi tape to each one. I think the ladybugs is cute. I don't know if you can get a really good shot of that, but that's ladybugs. And what I do is I use the different parts of the paper pad, the cutouts and stuff, and I cut them out. And it's like that's a cutout that I attached. I like the pink one too. Who am I kidding? I like it all. And this is not for me. This is a gift for my cousin that lives in Wisconsin. She was here in August, I believe. Yeah, I believe it was August. And then there's the back. And what I do is I just uh, 
Mod Podge the outside and then I put my decorative paper on and when it dries I go back and Mod Podge it again to make this stiff to protect it and then to create a binding for it it's just a color coordinated duct tape that I use as you can see it got a little messy there right there anyways back to my cousin she was here in uh, August and she saw one I had made for my sister and she fell in love with it and I told her yeah I'd make you one no problem so I wanted to show it to everybody before I got it in the mail for her. I, Like I said, it's been done for a while. i just been working on craft things for my craft fair. And I just wanted to share this with everybody. And uh, I'm always looking for new craft ideas to try. So if you know of a site that does, you know, crafty stuff, I'm more into using paper as opposed to, like, paint or polymer clay or jewelry or anything like that it's just easier for me with my hands and the arthritis to work with paper it's easier to use that so if anybody knows any sites any youtube artists i mean i follow several that i'm constantly getting ideas from but if you know someone that i haven't become aware of leave their name in the comments below so i can go check them out and in closing, remember what I always say, folks. When the world's going to hell in a handbasket, don't worry about everybody else and their drama and everything. Just leave them over there. They're not important. Because what is important is you, your family, everybody that's important to you. Because when it's all said and done, folks, it's not my circus and they're not my monkeys. Okay, y'all have a real good day now. Catch you next time. Bye.